So uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me how did I make my YouTuber things intro for a couple of these tutorial videos that I made a while back. And actually when I say a lot of you guys, I mean this one person here on the screen, he asked me and then I responded by saying I'll show you exactly how I did it using a free software. You don't have to know anything about video editing, graphic design, really anything. I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how exactly I did this intro that I'm showing on the screen right now. It's super easy. It takes less than five minutes and there's really only two steps to the entire process. We're not going to be using any video editing apps. We're going to be using a website and then if you want to use it in a YouTube video, you might have to do some secondary work to it, but I'll show you all that in this video. Really quick, really easy. You guys are going to love it. So let's jump into the computer and get right into the tutorial. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. I'm the Nerd in Training and today I have a very quick tutorial for you guys. So a couple things to know, it's like 100 degrees in my office. I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. So if I skip over anything or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. With that, let's just go ahead and get started. So the very first thing you have to do to make this intro is you have to go to the website we're gonna use to create the intro, which makes sense, right? We're not installing any applications to create this intro, but we are going to use a web video editor. Now, I just say that because it's easier instead of having to get everybody to install software, it's easier to do it all online in my opinion. So it's called panzoid.com. It's the first link in the description. Click it. This is what it looks like. Let's click this little button right here for creations. Click the search button. Let's search for Stranger Things because we want a Stranger Things like intro. Well, there's actually a lot of them. You can see that people have done a couple of different options. You have Inhumans Monsta, Memer Things, Stranger Things, Stranger Reacts. You know, this is a very popular intro and a lot of people wanted to know how to make it myself being included that's why I did so I found this open it in clip maker now this is the actual video editor it might look a little intimidating but don't let that get you down it's just a 3d space for text and other basic media so right off the bat you have to know a couple things about panzoid uh, this is their video editor it's pretty intuitive but you can get a little lost do not click any of these thumbnails because these are other people's projects and it will actually take you out of the project you're in so if you come in here and you make a bunch of changes and then you accidentally click on one of these files here you're gonna lose them all so don't click them let's just work in this group right here so if you look at the left hand side you have all your different tools you have your main project which is new project load project whatever then you have the basics which you can change things to your liking you can make the video longer shorter you can change the resolution if you want it to be 1080 2k 4k whatever it might be I'm gonna leave mine in 1080 for now just because that's good enough for me the main place that we're gonna be working out today is the objects pane so if you look in here you have all these different groups now all the group is is each individual 3d element so for instance you have the group s which relates to what this creator used to create the S text. I wanna change this intro to say Chris things because my name is Chris and it's a different number of characters than Stranger Things. So that way I can answer a couple of questions as I'm doing it. If you click on the text icon and you see it down here in this little box, it says T, you just come in here and replace that with an H. Now you need to make sure you're doing it for both text groups because if you look up here at the group, you have a T and an H on top of each other. But as soon as we change the second one to an H, it creates a nice clean, 3d shadow text of an h so what i would do at this point is i would actually delete the g the e and the r and then now you just have chris things so let's say you need more characters well you do the opposite of delete you copy or duplicate them and when you copy them and duplicate them they all show up on the bottom here and you can change them to be whatever you want you can change them to be an e and then you'll see on the screen where they live and then you can move them wherever you need them to move or whatever you want to do with them or you know just let them move themselves either way you have extra characters here that's how i made the word youtuber but i'm going to delete all these extra characters for the time being as you see i made way too many of them okay so you have your you have your creation done the way you want it and you have it looking pretty good you can kind of scroll around the preview here and say oh yeah that looks good it looks now it says chris things and all the effects are going to take place on the text the way that they did the way that they should you know you just have to trust that all we did is we didn't change any of the effects added to the text we just changed the actual values of the text 
So then the next step, you're almost done, is you have to come down here and you have to download them. Now here are your download options. You can do a fast render, good quality, extreme quality. Uh, these take anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes depending on your internet connection, computer, and choice. I find that balanced works just fine. It's just a YouTube intro. No one's gonna be critiquing it too much. And I like to do WebMs. After the video is done rendering, it will look like this and then you can download your video. Let it open and let's see if it looks good. Okay, so this is actually the full Stranger Things intro. What I would do at this point is I would clip it to be just like this right here, but that's just me. Look how clean and good that title looks in about five minutes worth of work. And the more you do this, it ends up being more like a minute to two minutes worth of work. And it's very impressive, you know, I'm not a, I could never create this on my own. I couldn't create this in After Effects. I tried, I followed a tutorial on YouTube and I spent three days trying to manipulate it. I couldn't do it. Okay, so you have your video downloaded and you've already watched it and you made sure it's exactly what you want. Uh, there's one more step you're gonna wanna do and you're gonna wanna get this video to be an MP4 file. Now, if your video editor can see .webms or .mkvs, great, but I know not all of them can. Adobe Premiere Pro the last time I used it could not. So I would recommend downloading this tool right here, which is the second link in the description called Handbrake. And it's just a good tool to have. It's a very simple, easy to use video converter. Okay, so I've, I have Handbrake set up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and double click to open it. Let's get it going right now. And it asks you what you want to open. I want to open a single file video. I wanna find it in my downloads. Here it is, my video is the one from today. It's the .webm file. And I wanna convert it to an MP4. You see right here, summary, .mp4, H264. And you literally just click the start encode button and then it'll encode it for you there's a little green status bar down here it's a pretty quick process i don't have a super beefy computer but it's taking care of it like it's nobody's business and then once you've done that you should be good to go ahead and and toss this into any video editor now a couple of things when this is done editing i'll show you i'll pull up on the screen that i would do a little differently is uh with this i would honestly probably change the music because I know for a fact that this music is copyrighted and if you put it in a video, your video will be demonetized because I've used it in three videos and they've all three been demonetized. If you don't really care about video monetization and you really want to keep the Stranger Things sound, just leave it in. It's not going to hurt. They're not, you're not going to get a copy strike, but you will get a copyright claim and you won't be able to make any money off your video. But I mean, this looks really cool. I also wouldn't recommend a 53 second long intro. That's a little bit extreme. So what I would do is if you come right here when the letters start coming up to the full screen, I would cut it to about right there and then really let this be your intro. You know, I, I appreciate the whole intro. As you see here, it looks really cool. The zooming in on the different letters and everything else like that. And maybe if you're doing a podcast or a vlog, or you really just you know want to have the whole thing on there for whatever reason, or maybe it's your outro, great. I think 53 seconds is a little bit too long of watching this content for people to not click off a YouTube video. But definitely, when it starts to get full screen and you have about nine seconds of where it says this Chris things, it's such a cool little intro and it people tell me all the time how much they like it on Instagram. Okay, so there you have it. Super easy, only really two steps to creating this intro and in a matter of minutes you can have your very own unique stylized intro and feel free to click around this website and really explore the opportunities that are here. There's a ton of people that have made pre-made creations and you can kind of manipulate them to fit into your own personal space just make sure that if you do use their creations you give them credit you re-upload to the site or you contribute in some way maybe put it in your youtube video description it's a big deal i've personally been really into using the site for a long time now and i've created my own unique creations and upload them so it's really interesting and fun to get to see my work spread this way and i'm sure a lot of other creators would feel the same with that being said i hope you guys have a great night and you enjoyed the video i'll see you all in the next one